Let me put it in perspective first. I don't really know, but they tell me that I've done a uh, hundred and fourteen pictures, I think, and something between four hundred and five hundred television shows. Now, reason I give you that is, I, I very seldom do one show for a, a director. Normally, I'll do two, three. Peck and Paw, I did nine. Let's say in that bunch, I've I've worked for. 200 directors pull a figure out probably Scorsese being one of maybe three that are really great really great I mean he's a superb director and he works kind of strangely like uh, when we were going to do the, the shot and my first one was the shot where the uh, senator shows up we got the trial going we did that one first. I didn't have anything to do except jump in a chair, sit there and go through 1,800 pages of stuff. So uh, that was no problem. But other than that, when you when I did the big one with uh, De Niro, when we got through and got ready, and they had set aside, by the way, two days to do eight pages. Uh, and what he does, and what he did with me anyway, he took Bob, he took the cameraman, himself, and me. That's all. We went into the room. And he said, show me. He just wanted to see what we had thought would work. And so we went through it, and he watched it, and he said, "Uh uh-huh. Listen, what would happen if, or do you think that, he never ever, in my knowledge, ever said don't do, or I don't like, or that's bad. So he he watches what you do, then he says, what about T-T-T, T-T-T, and Pretty soon, you find yourself, you're saying, okay, what can I do to make it a little better for him? What will surprise him? What will give him what he wants? Now, the only thing that bothers me about him is that I'm used to directors working beside the camera. So you always know exactly where they are if you need to find out something. He doesn't work at the camera. He works over at the display. So he's 20 feet away. But he's like a little kid. Uh, you know who Raoul Walsh was? Okay. He's sort of a cross between Raoul Walsh and Jimmy Cagney because he'd have to jump up to hit you in the kneecap. But he's so full of life, and he's watching the picture on the monitor, and you're watching me. He's going, and he's jumping up and down while the thing's going on. So you're really trying to do something else to make him happy. Uh But he, uh, that was it. uh, Let me nail him for you. We had finished the second scene. And I had about 10 days off till I went back for the big one with Bob. And the AD said, hey, uh, he'd like to see you for a few minutes. You bet. So I scurried over. And we talked for a few minutes. He said, listen, we're going to do so forth and so on in like eight or 10 days when it's scheduled. Fine. He said, would you look at it and rewrite it for me? Now, do you know who wrote the script for Casino? Mm-hmm. Right. Scorsese mm-hmm. helped write. Now, here's a director and the writer of the script saying to an actor, I want you to rewrite my scene. And I said, oh, you bet. I can just see me now. I mean, you'd pass water if I changed one word. And he said, no, 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 no. Because he says, I know Chicago. I know the mob. I know how they work, but I don't know Western. Would you go in and rewrite it for me? So I said, sure. And I came back. I did three versions, dropped them on his desk, and we got ready to shoot. He picked one, and we went with that. Now, let me tell you something, sports fans. You have a hell of a time getting any, any director letting you change the script at all. One word, two words. To change the whole thing, and he wrote it, big man. Talented man.